Well, as we told you earlier this week on BT, the community of Sandy Bay First Nation is mourning the death of nine-year-old Hope Richard. She died when her family's home went up in flames on Tuesday. As City TV's Heather Steele tells us, a building company may play a role in helping to solve similar problems in the future. You know, just every issue that we have on First Nations regarding houses, except for overcrowding, um, you know, this solves. Sounds like quite the promise, but having grown up on a First Nation himself, Cook says he knows the challenges some communities face. He wanted to find a housing solution. For starters, he tells us this house cannot burn down. But this house here, it'll be here in 50 years and it'll look exactly the same way. In fact, every wall in this entire home is fire resistant and the builders are so confident they were willing to show us proof. Of course, no one wanted to take a blowtorch to the walls of the first show home in North America, but this pallet is made of the same material the walls are. Believe it or not, this is actually the recycled glass mixed with a composite resin. With recycled glass being the main component, there is no wood at all. Cook says that means insects, mold and severe winds can't destroy it either. Construction techniques and trades have not changed for many, many years. There's nothing else that stayed like that. The car industry hasn't stayed like that. Medical has not stayed like that. Others agree this new approach to building homes could be good to look at for First Nations, where fire services vary from one community to the next. A lot of the times it's volunteer. Mm -hmm. A lot of the time they only have one or two pieces of large equipment, like a fire truck. Mm -hmm. And then uh, the time it takes to get the volunteers together, get the equipment to the site of the fire, the place could literally be Burned down. Cook adds the cost for this 1,000 square foot home would be quite comparable to a regular home. In the coming months, he'll be showing dignitaries from First Nations and from Ottawa through the home, hoping to change the way people think about building houses. Heather Steele, City News, Winnipeg.